Ma, take this problem. Again, she's in Madhu Kosa. Five an expression for minimum view on a rough inclined plane for a round object having a radius of dilation k. To pure one. Come on, think around. Say. However, if you if you need my help, I will give you. You know what is radius of dilation now? Huh. I is equal to supposing it is disc. It is I is equal to m r square by two is equal to m m k square. Okay, where k is the radius of dilation. So the entire uh, disc is converted into a point mass and placed at a distance k such that m k square is equal to m r square by two. Like that for different objects, the, but the moment of inertia will be equal to uh, m into k square. Now it is based on a rough inclined plane. You can assume the angle to be theta. Right, uh, draw the diagram first. Of a round object. So you have just placed it and you have left your hand, initially it was 0, <coughs> so due to this force, there will be friction at it. Find the minimum view. Ah, yes, sir. Pure volume. Can be the, the radius of any object also, if it's set. See, you have got this disk. Okay, it's moment of energy about this point. What is the moment of energy about this point? I see will be equal to mr square by 2. Again? Okay? Yes, sir. Huh. So, this yes, entire yes, disk I will convert it into point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And keep it from here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, this is the moment of energy. You go to M k square. So, this entire mass is here. Yes. This is the area.
This gamma. R square by K square is equal to gamma. Use gamma. Let your equation will contain not R but gamma. Okay? Okay. Sujan, here I get you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I get you, Sujan. <laughs> no, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
cuento. Okay, these are the basic equations, that's all. Yes. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, that's it. So, if you have written the basic equations, enough. You have written the basic If you are getting the basic equations, you are done. Rest of the things are manipulations. So, mg sin theta minus cf is equal to ma. I think all of us wrote this. Yes, ah, and fr is, equal to, fr is equal to mk square alpha. Say minus. Magnitude will then yak minus it. You know, I need to do this. I can't have one with the group. Alpha R is equal to E. Okay, because sleeping without rolling. Right? So these three basic equations you write. And right of the things are manipulations here. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. R square by K square, you take it as 1 by gamma. Yes, sir. That is standard. I thought you know it. Sorry, I, I think I should have told it. Okay. So what is gamma? See, it is the ratio of uh, r square by. Uh, uh, it is the ratio of k square by r square. Okay. Okay. So okay. this will be very useful because uh, you know you don't have to say whether it is a round and even and all that thing. So you just put that gamma. Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay. See, so they are written here. M k square is equal to gamma m r square. That's Mr. Round object or any important. Adalo, we'll hook lay. You round object and cotara, round object and so that it will roll. So that the final answer is in terms of gamma. Ah, yes, I think. This is standard procedure. Yes. Got it, friends? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So getting the basic diagram is very important. So here alpha value has been substituted m alpha r alpha value has been substituted by fr by m square okay m m will cancel here r square by this one will be so mg sin theta minus f will be equal to f into f into r square by k square so you separate out f here that's all okay okay yes 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 Demon, Saka, the calculation of Aram Samara. Get the strategy right. Very good, very good. Okay, friends? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, this one concept I will teach today, and then we will close the day. So, Newton's equations for rigid body from non inertial field. Okay, that is concentration of pseudo force. Ah, but here it is very interesting. The derivation becomes very interesting. Now, as discussed earlier, angular momentum will be about a point P is fixed as given. So now here you can see this body is uh, uh, rotating. Okay. Now the point P is here, C is here. The vectors you can see V and V P here. Okay. The angular momentum about P is calculated. Now just watch out the beauty of this equation. 
L P will be equal to I C into omega plus M R C P cross V C P. Standard equation. Okay. Right? That is this vector uh, C R C P bar is taken, and then I C omega square plus M R C P. Uh, here, uh, the what is V C P? Velocity of C with respect to S P is split this V C minus V P. And then I C omega plus M R C P cross V C minus M R C P cross V P. We get this formula. Uh, see the uh, abstract of this is very interesting. Okay. Then what we do? We will take the differentiation of this. Hmm? The rate of change of angular momentum about T d L P by d T. I C by d omega by d T plus R C P into cross V D V C by d T minus R C P cross V D P by d T. Standard. We have just differentiated this equation, and the outcome of this. I C into alpha standard. M R C P cross A C. D V C by D T A C minus M R C P cross A P. A P S. Huh? Huh? Now substituting I C alpha plus M R C P A C as tau P. I see. Tau P about this point. Got it now? Hello. Yes sir. Yes. Okay. Hmm? So it is a torque about this point plus torque at uh, uh, plus m r c p into a c. It is tau p. Got it, friends? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Now where tau p is the uh, now where tau p becomes the sum of all the torques. Why sum of all the torques? Because a c. What is a c? A C is sum of all the forces divided by the mass. Yes, sir. Yes. And therefore, tau P will take it as sum of all the torques. Yes, sir. Right. Ha. Huh. Torque moments and of all the real forces. And therefore, we will continue to write this as d L P by d T is equal to tau P minus tau R C P cross m A P. Here M A P is the acceleration at the point. Huh? Ha. Huh. Now, very interesting uh, abstraction here. Pseudo torque. Hmm? The second term of the right hand side arises when the velocity of point P varies in varies. That is either in magnitude or direction of both. In this case, it is rotating, so it is varying. This can be written as R C P cross minus M A P. Minus M A P is what the pseudo force. So, the first, yes, sir. Huh. so let us imagine minus A P is acting at the center of the mass. If we imagine that the M A C M A P is acting at the center of mass, then the pseudo force or non-initial force written as F P S pseudo force, as we are observing the rigid body from the accelerating point P, then the term R cross minus M A P can be termed as torque produced by pseudo force. About P, you may call this a pseudo torque. Oh, yes. See, we used to what we used to do: a bus is moving yes, inside the bus you are sitting. There is a suitcase. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. Yeah. So as long as the bus is moving with uniform velocity, you are sitting and your suitcase is there. Supposing the bus accelerates in this direction, then what happens? Your suitcase starts moving towards you. Yes, Supposing the floor is frictionless floor. You remember that? Yes. When we learn to the pseudo force, yes. uh, and now if you if you are sitting there and if you push the suitcase, you are applying force in this direction. But actually, if you want to apply Newton's law, you will take the force applied by you minus the pseudo force. Force applied by you on the suitcase minus the pseudo force divided by the mass of the suitcase. That gives you the acceleration of the suitcase uh, from the from the uh, from the uh, point of view of the person because you have cancelled the effect of the bus acceleration by taking the negative vector. I hope you remember. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now the same thing. Now if you are if you are sorry if you are sitting here and if you imagine that this whole body uh, because anyway if you imagine that you know assume that you are sitting here and this bus is accelerating. Assume that this is a bus which is accelerating. Yes. Then what do you do? 
Okay, you will first take a pseudo force because if it is accelerating in the right direction, you will add a pseudo, and if you are sitting here, you will first add a pseudo force in this direction to this. Yes, sir. And then whatever force you are acting, etc. So that is the abstraction phase. Okay, so that is it. So the second term of the right hand side arises when the velocity of point P varies in magnitude or direction of both. This can be written as RCP cross minus MAP. Let us imagine minus MPP is acting at the center. If you imagine minus AP is acting at the center of the mass, that is pseudo force or non inertial force as we are observing from the rigid body point of view, then this term can be termed as torque produced by the pseudo force about P. I hope you got this. Okay, so what this equation means is the DLP by DD is what? Torque at point P. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. This torque at point P is equal to the torque at point P due to all the forces acting over the body. Ah, sir. Minus, yes, sir. since that point itself is accelerating, minus the acceleration of the center of the mass of the body and you have to cross it with RCP cross this much. Ah, yes. Sir, DLP by DD is not talking, not talking about the It is It is talking about the How can we write that? Uh, RCP by minus RCP RCP minus 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 RCP